In a world where fame often flickers and fades, Kim Kardashian's journey stands out, a narrative woven with determination, savvy, and an unerring eye for opportunity. This story begins not on the red carpets of Hollywood or the glossy pages of fashion magazines, but in the bustling, everyday world of retail and styling. Before the beauty brands that would bear her initials and redefine her legacy, Kim Kardashian was known for fashion, reality TV, and an ever-growing social media presence. The birth of KKW Beauty and later SKKN by Kim was more than just a celebrity venturing into entrepreneurship. It was a masterstroke in understanding market dynamics and consumer desires. These brands were not mere extensions of Kim Kardashian's persona, they were reflections of her keen understanding of what people sought in their beauty products, a blend of luxury, accessibility, and the promise of a glamour akin to that of their creator. As we delve into this journey, we're not just tracing the timeline of a business venture, we're exploring how a celebrity transformed her influence into a tangible, touchable product line that found its way into the lives and routines of countless individuals. And without further ado, let's get started. The story of Kim Kardashian's venture into the beauty industry is a tale of evolution and ambition. It all started with Chroma and Kardashian Beauty, the early seeds of a beauty empire. Chroma, a venture initiated by Kim alongside her sisters Courtney and Chloe, marked their first foray into the beauty world. Chroma was positioned in the affordable price range and found its place in popular retail chains like CVS, Walgreens, and Duane Reed. It was a modest start that laid the groundwork for what would come. In 2014, Kim took a step further, trademarking Kardashian beauty. This move was more than just a business decision. It clearly indicated Kim's growing interest and commitment to the beauty industry. Kardashian beauty enjoyed fair success, resonating with fans who admired Kim's style and wanted a piece of it for themselves. This venture was significant, not just for its financial gains, but for the invaluable insights it provided Kim into beauty products and consumer expectations. March 2017 marked a pivotal moment in Kim's journey, the birth of KKW Beauty. The establishment of KKW wasn't just another celebrity brand launch, it was a strategic move by Kim, leveraging her massive influence and understanding of the beauty market. KKW Beauty debuted with contour and highlight kits, which were trendy and closely associated with Kim's signature makeup look. It was an intelligent alignment of the brand with Kim's personal brand, a move that ensured instant recognition and interest. Kim's vision for entering the beauty market was evident and well-calculated. She recognized the power of her influence and the changing dynamics of the beauty industry, where social media became a pivotal platform for brand building and customer engagement. KKW Beauty was more than a collection of products. It embodied Kim's understanding of her audience's desires, a blend of quality, luxury, and the allure of a celebrity touch. KKW Beauty's launch was a testament to Kim's business acumen. She knew her audience well, what they liked and aspired to, and how they connected with her as a brand. This wasn't just about selling makeup. It was about selling a lifestyle, an aspiration, a piece of the Kim Kardashian ethos. The initial offerings of KKW Beauty set the stage for what would become a continually evolving and expanding line, one that would keep pace with changing trends while staying true to the core of what made the brand a reflection of Kim herself. In the high-stakes world of beauty branding, the brand's launch wasn't just a quiet entry into the market, it was a loud, attention-grabbing splash, a strategy many would call shock marketing. This approach is a tightrope walk, balancing between generating buzz and courting controversy. KKW, under Kim Kardashian's guidance, seemed to understand this balance well. One of the most talked about controversies in KKW's early days was the accusation of blackface in its promotional imagery. This incident wasn't just a fleeting moment in the news cycle, it sparked widespread debate and discussion. On the one hand, it brought the brand into the limelight, capturing the attention of the beauty community and a broader audience. On the other hand, it raised serious questions about sensitivity and awareness in marketing. This controversy served as a double-edged sword. It brought KKW Beauty an immense amount of visibility, which, in marketing, often translates to profitability. However, it also brought scrutiny and criticism, challenging the brand to navigate the complex waters of public perception. 
The incident highlighted a crucial aspect of modern marketing, the need to balance being bold and mindful. In the early stages, KKW's marketing strategies seemed to be a calculated blend of risk and reward. The brand was willing to push boundaries to make statements that would get people talking. This approach is a delicate dance, where every step can lead to a misstep or a leap forward. While challenging for KKW, these controversies also served as catalysts for conversation and engagement, elements crucial in the fast-paced, ever-evolving beauty industry. The impact of these controversies on brand visibility was significant. They propelled KKW into the spotlight, ensuring that the brand was a topic of conversation in various circles. This visibility, while not always positive, ensured that KKW Beauty remained a relevant and discussed entity in the crowded beauty market. After KKW's initial success, Kylie Jenner wanted a piece of the pie, so she quickly launched Kylie Cosmetics. The story of KKW and Kylie Cosmetics then unfolded like a fascinating narrative of sisterly rivalry. Both brands, emerging from the Kardashian-Jenner dynasty, carved their unique spaces in the beauty industry, yet their paths were intertwined with striking similarities and notable differences. KKW, Kim Kardashian's brainchild, entered the beauty scene focusing on contouring products, a technique Kim was widely recognized for. On the other hand, Kylie Cosmetics made its mark with the launch of the now iconic Kylie Lip Kits, capitalizing on Kylie Jenner's fame for her distinctive lips. While KKW embraced a more sophisticated minimalist aesthetic, Kylie Cosmetics leaned towards a youthful, trendier vibe. This difference in branding reflected Kim and Kylie's personal styles and public personas, each resonating with different segments of the beauty market. Despite their distinct brand identities, KKW and Kylie Cosmetics shared a common production partner, Seed Beauty. This relationship was more than just a business arrangement. It was a strategic alliance that played a crucial role in the success of both brands. Seed Beauty, known for its expertise in rapid product development and extensive manufacturing network, provided the perfect launchpad for both KKW and Kylie Cosmetics to quickly bring their products to market. The involvement of Seed Beauty also brought about a unique dynamic. Here were two brands, born from the same family, competing in the same industry, yet sharing the same production partner. This arrangement led to inevitable product quality, range, and innovation comparisons. While it offered the advantage of shared knowledge and resources, it also posed the challenge of maintaining distinct brand identities and customer bases. The sisterly rivalry between KKW and Kylie Cosmetics was not just a family affair, but a reflection of the broader competitive landscape of the beauty industry. It showcased how brands with shared roots could diverge in their branding, marketing, and product development approaches. This rivalry, while competitive, also had an undercurrent of mutual respect and shared learning as both brands navigated the complexities of the beauty market. The journey of KKW Beauty took a significant turn when Cody, a global beauty giant, stepped into the picture. This wasn't just a business deal. It was a moment that would redefine the future of KKW. In June 2020, Cody acquired a 20% stake in KKW Beauty, which sent ripples through the beauty industry. The financial aspects of this deal were as intriguing as they were impactful. While initial reports suggested a staggering $200 million for this stake, making the brand's valuation at $1 billion, the reality was more nuanced. The true financial details of the Cody acquisition painted a different picture. The actual amount paid was significantly lower than the reported figures, suggesting that the valuation of KKW Beauty might have been inflated. This revelation shifted how the brand was perceived, both in the market and by the consumers. The question arose, was KKW Beauty as successful as it appeared, or was its value more a reflection of the celebrity status of its founder? This acquisition was more than a financial transaction. It was a strategic partnership. Cody's global reach and expertise in the beauty industry presented new opportunities for KKW Beauty to expand and evolve. However, the implications of the reported inflated valuation could not be ignored. It raised questions about the sustainability of celebrity-driven brands and the real value they bring to the competitive beauty market. The impact of the Cody deal on KKW Beauty's brand perception was multifaceted. On one hand, 
It brought legitimacy and industry recognition to the brand, aligning it with a well-established player in the beauty world. On the other hand, the scrutiny over the brand's valuation led to a more critical examination of its market position and long-term viability. The evolution of Kim Kardashian's beauty empire took a bold new turn with the transition from KKW Beauty to SKKN by Kim. This rebranding was not just a name change, but a comprehensive overhaul of the brand's identity, from its visual aesthetics to its product formulations. SKKN by Kim emerged as a refined, more mature version of its predecessor, signaling a new chapter in Kim's journey in the beauty industry. The rebranding process involved significant changes in branding and packaging. SKKN by Kim adopted a minimalist, sleek design, a stark contrast to KKW Beauty's initial presentation. This new packaging was more than just visually appealing, it was a statement of the brand's evolution, reflecting a shift towards a more sophisticated and timeless aesthetic. The product formulas also underwent a transformation, with a focus on high-quality, effective ingredients. This shift was a strategic move by Kim to position SKKN not just as a celebrity brand, but also as a serious contender in the luxury skincare market. A notable aspect of SKKN by Kim's rebranding was the involvement of Kanye West in the design aspects. Kanye's creative input was instrumental in shaping the brand's new visual identity. His influence was evident in the clean lines, neutral color palette, and overall architectural feel of the packaging. This collaboration added a layer of artistic credibility to the brand, merging the worlds of beauty, fashion, and design. The strategic shift in target market and brand positioning was a key element of the SKKN by Kim rebranding strategy. The brand moved away from the broader, more general audience of KKW Beauty, targeting a more upscale, discerning consumer base. This shift was reflected not just in the product offerings and packaging, but also in the marketing and communication strategies. SKKN by Kim positioned itself as a brand that offered more than just beauty products. It offered a luxurious skincare experience backed by the expertise and personal touch of Kim Kardashian herself. Looking towards the future, SKKN's potential directions in the beauty industry are manifold. Central to this strategy is introducing the VIP program, a masterstroke designed to enhance customer loyalty and deepen the brand's relationship with its consumers. This program isn't just a loyalty scheme, it's a bridge connecting SKKN to its audience, offering exclusive benefits and experiences beyond the conventional. It's a statement of commitment, showing that SKKN values its customers and seeks to reward their loyalty in meaningful ways. That's all from this video. What do you think about the rise of KKW Beauty? Comment below, and if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next one.